spend 10 hours researching a trip on the internet and I'm even less confident about what we should do, right? Do you ever feel that way? I feel that way and I'm a travel expert. So there's a real gap between what people want from their travels, what we really want, and what the internet can provide. And today I'm going to fill in that gap. And I'm going to give you my advice and what, really talk about what I've now kind of evolved as my two main pillars of travel advice. And these two pillars I put into place no matter where I go so that I come away with a much more fulfilled and meaningful travel experience that I could never have planned using a search engine. Um, but first, a little bit about me for those who don't know me. So, 15 years ago, I knew zero about travel. But all of a sudden, I had my own TV show where I was in front of a camera and had to act like I knew what I was doing, and I had no clue. I really didn't. But I did know that I wanted to be different than I had seen on TV. I wanted to be less of a host, less of an expert, and, and just a real person who people could connect with. I was seeing the world for the first time, and I just wanted to reach through that television, grab you sitting on the couch, and say, come along with me. Web series. Okay. Welcome to Cruise Planners. Thank you. While my interest in Australia is diving in canes in the Great Barrier Reef. Okay. Because I'm a scuba diver. Okay, well we have programs for um, diving in the Cairns area, and that would be scuba as well as diving, and then scuba as well, where that would have like a, a hole over your head, and you're pumping oxygen through there, so there's three types of different things that we can do. Our programs are typically for uh, escorted, so it's 100% escorted, and our target audience is generally uh, 35 and above in age groups. I also am interested in diving in Sydney Harbor. Okay. I haven't heard too much about diving in Sydney Harbor. That's a very busy harbor. A friend of mine who went to Australia back in November told me she did diving there. She actually did a presentation at my scuba club meeting about it last week. Okay. Yeah, then that's something you would have to talk to her about. Okay, and it's, it's also my um, my day, my um, special day, my 32nd. Your what? My special day, my birthday. Your birthday, okay. What is it that you're asking? Nothing. J just telling you it's my special day. Oh, okay. Happy birthday. And diving is one of the reasons why I'm here today. I'll keep that in mind should I travel there one day. Can you tell me who you are? Wendy and Barbuda. We are Twin Island State in the Caribbean. Um, 
My interest in the Caribbean, including in Antigua and Barbada, is scuba diving mostly. I'm Lois from Lois's Adventures, and it's a web series that I made for YouTube. Okay. And this is one of the segments I'm covering. Okay. And what is your name? Charlotte. And what do you do, Charlotte? guys offer scuba diving? Because I happen to be a diver. I'm hoping to become a master scuba diver for Patty. Yes, we have uh, shipwrecks off our coast, reefs, natural reefs, artificial reefs. So yes, we have diving activities. Is it true that the, um, the town of Treasure Coast got its name because of a sunken tr treasure fleet? In 1715. As a result of a hurricane? Are, are these treasures protected? Yes. So if I were to find any, I wouldn't be able to keep it? I can't answer that. You have to contact the officials about that. So I really don't care about keeping it. I probably really much would, you know, give it to the officials. Yes, there are ownership rights to certain areas off the coast. Treasure hunting isn't exactly my thing, isn't, I mean. It's fun to treasure hunt. But all the treasures aren't just offshore. You can find plenty of practical treasures inshore, too. The treasures that concern me the most is pretty much the coral reefs and the fish. And we have those treasures, too. Which are priceless. And thank you for your time. Well, my interest of the Florida Keys and, and Key West is scuba diving. Yes. We have lots of scuba diving in the Keys. We're situated along the third largest living coral reef. So we have lots of shallow water, beautiful diving, and lots of uh, wrecks as well. Thank you. You're very welcome. There's a place in the Keys I always wanted to dive is Key Largo. Yep, and that's right up here at the John, uh, John Finnecamp Coral Reef State Park. It's a beautiful spot to go diving. Not just Key Largo, but the whole Keys in general. Yes, very much so. Cool. One of the reasons why I want to visit the um, Caribbean is scuba diving, because I'm a diver. And Puerto Rico happens to be part of my heritage since I'm part Puerto Rican. Um, I'm part Puerto Rican and Puerto Rico is part of my heritage. I also dream of diving in the Bahamas. Thank you for your time. Today is also my special day, my birthday. Thank you.
Justin Aruba is diving since I'm a diver. Lots of red flags, which means diving locations, either shipwrecks or uh, reefs. Lots of places to go underwater. Well, my interest in the Cayman Islands is diving since I'm a diver myself. Um, what interests me is diving, since I'm a diver. Is that a reef over there? It's amazing. My re reason for going to Egypt is diving in the Red Sea. Uh, yeah, you can do that. The Red Sea has some of the best diving in the world. And so somewhere from like Sharm el Sheikh is where the center is. Also, you can see a lot from Haggadah. But yeah, diving is one of the reasons lots and lots of people do go to Egypt. <laughs> One of my interests in the Bahamas is diving, since I'm a diver myself. Well, lucky for you, we have tons of great dive sites. If you go to our capital, which is Nassau, there's too much gold, and they can take you out on a diving trip. But if you want to get off of Nassau, you can go to Grand Bahama Island, Navajos, Eleuthera, Long Island, I've heard of those. You've heard of them? And I'm also a huge fan of Stuart Cobes, by the way. Stuart, yeah, exactly. Yes, they're in Nassau. I always want to dive with them. It's amazing. You can dive with the sharks. 